Oh, again, same day. Different reason I'm putting your video back on. Um, basically, I've used a similar type of um, trick with the little piece of cut out leather at the top here. And I've glued it to the mast here. I've sorted this bit out, which now goes from pretty much the top of the mast to the top of the mast, leaving enough for a flag. Ta -da! So, um, and I've stretched a piece of cotton down here and I put another piece at the bottom here, another bit of that leather. Well, actually, it isn't. It's a little button I found, but similar type of size and shape and does the job. So, um, but what I also found was some of these little wooden beads. I think they call them seed beads or something similar. Um, you don't have to do this, obviously, and you can make these things out of little rolls of paper. It does the same job. Um, and this will aid me when I come to put on the front mast and it also give a bit of um, What can I say? Um, just something pleasing to the eye I think um, But I'm going to show you how I'm going to tie this off Now remember we cut loads of little bits of wire and um, the little bits of wire that we cut Or the little bits of wire I cut were from um, they're like little, um, well they look like little billy pins, now that I've cut them that short. Um, but you could do the same with um, what are panel pins, little panel pins. Could do the same job, or little bits of wire, same thing. But what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take my little panel pin. I'm going to put a blob of glue on there. I'm going to glue this half up, half down, so that, you know, ah, you end up with a top and a bottom of this thing. And then just to finish it off, let's get rid of this bits of string, which isn't string, it's glue gun glue. And I'll put a little bit on the back there as well, just to stay, in, stay there, mate, hold you in place. Plan being that, that's it, glue to yourself, Jeff. That's what you wanted to do. So I've glued in a little pin there. Right? Reasoning. One, the little pins are like billy clubs or uh, billy pins, which were pins that slotted into slots along the side of your ship rails. Um, for tying ropes off to and basically <coughs> you'd have your billy pin and your billy pin would slot into a slot which would be sat on the side of your your rail right okay then they take their rope they take their rope let me shit on a rip so that it can, I can pull against it. I take their rope, yeah, and then they go like that. Now figure of eight it with a hitch over the top or one hitch over the top, and that would secure the rope enough so that you know their sails or whatever they were roping down. Wouldn't go anywhere until they needed it to. And then they can come back to it. Undo it quite quickly. Yeah. Or even better. What they do is. They do this figure of eight. Thing. Put their. Uh, hitch over it. To lock it all in place just like that yeah and if they needed to get that rope undone in a hurry they just pull the billy pin out rope falls away see well that's exactly what I'm going to be doing with these pins that I'm going to be gluing to the side but I'm only going to be gluing them where I need them all right this present moment in time I've got a pulley spare rope so I'm going to go 
Gotta find the bottom of it. There's a stick to find the bottom of it. Up there. Come on. Away oh, there. Over the top of my. Uh, over the top of my thing. And then around that one. And then down again. And then up and hitch. Come on, baby, hitch. Like so. Another hitch. So hold it in place, like so. But I'm not going to snip it there. I'll give myself a fair bit. You know. Yeah? And the reason for that is. I'm going to put that and glue it to the deck because another thing they used to do is they used to loop their ropes I think they still do it in the Navy but they'll loop their ropes on the floor like this And they'd loop their root on the floor like this. Like that. Okay. Well, I'm going to do that with this here. And I'll show you when I've done it. So, in order. course they do it really neat um, for inspection but for everyday running it'd just be a loop on the floor um, obviously it it wouldn't be uh, as pretty and I'm not doing it as pretty because again it's really fiddly what I'm doing is actually using the glue gun to hold the bugger into place while I loop it round best way to loop it is twist it and it will loop itself for you Once you've got the basic stuff, you can keep going with it. Oh, you're warm. There was an old saying on board ships, and that was don't step in a loop. So you're liable to get flung overboard, watch the ropes, watch where they are, watch where they sit. And never, never put your foot inside a loop. Because you can be dragged overboard and at sea when you're travelling at knots. Some ships take half a mile to turn around and then in that time you could have been eaten by sharks or drowned or whatever so yeah that's what I'm going to do that's what I'm going to do so just to show you what I did see that comes off the pulley goes to there yeah real simple no messing job the other thing I wanted to show you now I put little, these little loops in, They're these spars travel up and down the centre, well they would, but they travel up and down the centre like this, and they travel up and down on ropes, and it's to pull up your sails and drop your sails, yeah. 
that will need a pulley up here and then it will come back down and I will put one of them pins on this little disc that I put here figure right it tighten not put a little loop of right and I'll do that with everything now I could stand here all day and show you how the rigging goes and to be quite honest um, this isn't really how the rigging goes it's just how it how I see it working in my head um, it's not far off the mark but it's not perfect and as I said before I'm not making a historical model I'm making it for fun um, and so um, and this is more a fantasy boat than a real boat um, but yeah there you go that gives you an idea of what I'll be doing um, I hope that helped um, I'll see you next time you know the spiel be good to each other bye now